near the Pearson Airport in Toronto. Okay, so we passed the security very successfully, quite fast. We still have 10 minutes before Whoa, look at this. boarding. Damn. I'm getting a lot of attitude from you today. Continue. And I lost my thought. For the first time in years, we are traveling without carry-ons. Just a few bags. Jax is fully packed with the... Backpacks, almost. Yeah, uh, Back, not considering that we have two huge suitcases that we checked in. Backpacking and suitcasing. <laughs> suitcasing. It's nice not to be dragging the rolly carry, uh, carry on around. Uh, I don't have much to say. Bye. Ooh, the vending machine water is cheaper than at the store. Damn. We're at Padang Airport, which is located in Shanghai. It's not our first time here, so we know our way around. It marks the majority of our trip being accomplished. We were on a flight for 14 and a half hours, coming from Toronto, Canada to Shanghai, where we have a six and a half hour stopover. Sounds brutal, and it actually was. After four hours on the plane, I looked at the clock and realized that we still have 10 and a half hours to go and it's the thought of it is unbearable but you know time passes uh, by how we survive we look forward to meals from one meal to the other so that was we had three of those we had two um, like big meals and hot meals and one sandwich that's what pulled us through this very long flight it was uh, the plane overall was uh, pretty comfortable it wasn't that bad it's just uh, sitting still and for such a long time is uh, quite quite hard. Don't forget to exercise when you're on long flights. Get up, move a little, do something, you know, stretch to help your body and your blood flow. We got to uh, Shanghai airport and took a nice long nap on the benches. We slept for a good four hours. If you're waking me up, give me champagne. <laughs> So we caught up on sleep a little bit because uh, on the plane we didn't get to do much of that but I did watch about six different movies back to back um, and my ears were just killing me from wearing the earplugs but now we're feeling pretty good are you feeling good now we're about to board it's just a four and a half hour flight from Shanghai to uh, Manila Airport and it's gonna be a breeze comparing to 14 and a half so we'll be in Manila soon. No one should need more smooth camera. We just landed in Manila. What? We just landed in Manila, the capital of the Philippines. From Toronto it took us over 25 hours to get here. So we had six hours layover, layover. in Shanghai. Yep. It's 6 a.m. here right now in Manila. We did a little bit of duty-free shopping. We're gonna go through immigration, get our luggage, and figure out about the SIM card in order to arrange transportation to the hotel. Big plans. Big plans. Let's yeah. go get our stuff. Let's go. Okay, we're going through foreign passport immigration. We need to turn off the camera. How did it go? That was unnecessarily hard. I felt like we've been interrogated. Why? She asked us why we, we secured our visa from Canada and she wanted to see the return ticket. I mean, we wouldn't have gotten the visa in the first place if we didn't have the return ticket and that's what they told us as the rule. If you're traveling for over 30 days in, from Canada specifically, you need a visa, so I don't know. Yeah. It wasn't as easy as uh, Usually, some other yeah. Yeah, places, but well, it was okay. Who cares? We made it, so yeah. now we're let's get getting luggage. our luggage. Okay. One down. Okay, this one has all my stuff, so we're good. Well, look at that. That was fast. Our new Our Samsonite baby. Yeah. For once, uh, I do the wagon. Oh, for once, yes. Okay, yeah, do the walk. Okay.
So you need to find a display identifying which waiting area you're standing at. We're standing at MNO. our hotel it's called Guinho Hotel Makati. Makati is one of the downtown areas that's popular for tourists. It's about 10 minutes away from the airport and we're in Uber. It was actually incredibly easy to get Uber. It's gonna cost us less than 10 Canadian dollars to get to the hotel. It's 7 a.m. We're really hoping that they will either check us in early or allow us to leave the luggage or we'll be able to pay a little uh, like for half a day and uh, check in right away because I could uh, use a little bit of rest before we start exploring the city. before the check-in time which is amazing because it gives us an opportunity to freshen up take a quick shower before heading out to the city we're gonna go to a close by mall to buy the sim card because this is the number one thing we need to do to stay connected and know where we at and uh, navigate our way this hotel is called Guiha Suites I'm probably mispronouncing it on Expedia where I booked it it shows three and a half stars it's okay, it's a nice roomy place. Uh, it was $40 Canadian when I was booking about two weeks ago, so I think I got a pretty good deal, and that includes breakfast, which is uh, really great. We'll see how the breakfast is and other amenities that they have. So far, we have one nice bed, AC, that's all you can ask for, and hopefully working Wi-Fi. <laughs> 